It's one thing to provide food and shelter in return for protection, but it's quite another thing to be compelled to provide a home where before there was none. But some insects have the ability to force a plant to do just that. They're called gall makers, and this oak tree is infested with them. This odd wrinkled object at the base of an acorn is known as a nopper gall. Inside, there's the tiny grub of a minute wasp. To understand how it got there, we have to go back to last spring. This tiny insect, scarcely bigger than a mosquito, is one of these gall wasps. There are lots of them flying around the oak flowers. Most of the flowers by now have been pollinated and are about to develop into acorns. The gall wasp too have mated and this female is looking for a place to lay her eggs. She thrusts her ovipositor into the base of the fertilised flower and injects an egg. And that triggers a profound genetic change in the growing oak bud. It develops not into an acorn, but into something very different, a gall. Within, the tiny larva whose secretions have caused the change feeds on the oak tree's tissues. As summer proceeds, the galls become increasingly hard and woody. Autumn comes and the oak tree starts to shed its leaves. It's shutting down for the winter. And with its leaves go both acorns and galls. Plant and insect life is suspended. But unseen changes are nevertheless taking place. Spring comes at last. Inside the gall, something starts moving. The larva has turned into an adult wasp. It has spent nine months within the oak tree's tissues. It has only a few weeks of its life left. Now, as an adult, it must look for another oak to inject with eggs. A single oak tree may be afflicted by 70 different kinds of gall, each produced by a different species of wasp, and each with its own particular contorted shape. These hard shells may seem to be effective defences for the little grub inside them, but not necessarily so. This is another kind of gall wasp, and she's not a genetic engineer, she's a burglar. Behind her, she trails her equipment for breaking and entering, a drill. She carefully selects a site for her operations and takes aim. She flicks away the drill's sheath and starts work. Her aim has to be very accurate if she's to strike her target, the larva at the gall center. The tip of her drill has a sharp cutting edge of metallic zinc which pierces the gall tissues with ease. When she detects that she's reached the central chamber, a microscopic egg travels down the center of the drill and into the larva. The operation is over. Her offspring will now hatch in the gall center, consume the flesh of the resident larva and take over the gall. 